Hello everyone. So this one is going to be, uh, hopefully it's going to be the last one because I thought the last one was the last one, but it's not the last one because I have a bit of a problem. Um, let me show you what it is. Okay, I do apologize. It's dark because it's uh, middle of the night, but still. So anyway, uh, when I was playing music, it was kind of fine, but I didn't notice that something is wrong. And basically I did play uh, the Emma tracks where I have like left, uh, left center, center, right center, and right. And what happened is, on the left one, when you have like uh, the voice says left, then you have like a, 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 a low note, something instrument, I don't remember which one is it, then the guitar, and at the very end, you have the like a ting. So basically, all the instruments, when it says left, are left, and the ting is like here. And something similar with the center, when it says like center, all the instruments are here and the ting is tiny, tiny little bit to the right side. And this is, is difficult to notice on music, but on technical tracks, it's, it's kind of easy. And I'm surprised that I did notice it, that, that little thing, because I did notice that something is not, not quite right. It sounds good, but something is not quite right. So, I thought a, lot, a long time uh, trying to figure out what it is, and I think, I think I figured out what it could be. It's, it's my mistake. And mistake that it's, it's nothing to do with like the timing and the phase and everything. Everything that is fine. But the mistake was the order in which I did two things. So the last time I did the timing, I did the phase graphs and everything. I aligned everything like supposed to be. And after that, I EQ'd. And basically, whenever you EQ something, you're changing the slope or, or whatever. And when you change the slope, you change the phase. And basically, all the phase alignment that I did, it's mainly for mids and tweets because I, I did change the tweet slope and the mid slope and how they interact. And basically, I think that might be the cause. Why? Because I hear it on the high frequencies that... Um, sense image is not quite center and I think it has to do with that so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go to a home impulse response and try to see if the timing or the phase graphs are a bit off and if that's the case that's just gonna confirm that this is the issue so let's go and see Okay, so I'm in home impulse response. What I'm going to do now, uh, very quickly, um, I'm going to take some measurements. I'm going to take impulse responses. So I have all the set, the first set here, left, right, tweet, mid range, bass, sub. So the good thing is, uh, home uh, keeps everything into memory. So whenever you just launch it, it has all the previous measurements, which is amazing. Uh, I'm going to from entry 10 i'm going to do the new measurements again and just to compare them so let's quickly do the sub okay 30 to 200 um Actually, let's do the measurements first, and then we're going to compare so mid base let's do 70 to 500 very quickly so mid base left mid base left base cool and then right base mute on right base measure cool i just realized that um people tend to like these longer videos and not just overview so i'm just doing it if you if if you're watching first time this uh, i have a tutorial for uh, home impulse response how to 
work with it so we can follow that okay let's go to mid base left which is G uh, and we're gonna change from uh, 150 to 3k it's gonna be left mid Yeah, I do apologize if the sweeps are uh, loud, but it is what it is. So left, now right. Right mid. Now the tweeters, uh, left tweet, and we're going to do from 2k up to 20, let's measure, shoot, yeah I, I didn't choose the other one, that's the one, uh, left tweet, there we go. For some reason I have no aha uh -huh. wrong one that's a subwoofer for some reason I had no uh, sweep and I was like what the hell is happening so it's D no E channel E wrong channel Ear piercing. Okay, right channel. I'm gonna try to cover the mic with my finger when I'm gonna do the sweep, so it's not gonna be that painful for you guys. Again. Okay. So let's have a look at first uh, how the subwoofer goes with, so that's left base and this is right base. Let's open all of them. Okay, so these match. Uh, not perfect, but th this these differences are going to be because of the mic measure uh, and the mic position, I guess, because I didn't place the mic in exactly exactly the same spot that I did last measurements, I guess because of that. But they match. Okay, so now let's go for mid range, uh, mid left, and mid right. Okay. Um, okay, so they're off. My mids are off. I'm just double checking if, if they're the same. Yeah, they're the same. Okay, so that's weird. Okay, so just to double check the zero point. Okay, so it is start, start at zero, which is fine. Now, right mid, I have here, and left mid, yeah, left mid, here. Okay, so they are way off. So they start at, let's zoom in out and in, so they start somewhere here, so it's like almost, 
I want to say one millisecond, 0.7 milliseconds off. Okay, so let's let's do this. I know that my uh, mid base is fine. So let's let's tackle. Actually, let's compare it to the old mid. So mid range left, mid range left. Okay. So the blue one was the old one, like I had it before. And this is the green one, so it did change. So it did change the all the uh, levels that I uh, decreased or increased or whatever, and all the EQ that I did, they changed the phase, and that's why they're off. And if I'm going to check the tweeter, the new, let's say, left tweeter, yeah, so the tweeters are off as well. Okay, so let's align them. Because why not? So first of all, right, left base. Actually, this one. Left base. Yeah. Then I need left mid-range because I'm going to be aligning the mid-range to the mid-base. Okay, so let's um, add, let's say, one millisecond and measure again. So left mm, mid-range here, I have 2.2. Let's add one more, so 3.2. Okay, something similar. I'm just checking the uh, mid range is 150 up to 2k. Do I have it? F. No, I need mid is G. This one. Okay, let's measure. And what do we have here? Okay. Um, so it looks like it needs to be close to like here. That's a thing. Or less. Let's add more and see what happens. Time. But it shouldn't be that much. Because I have on the mid base. 2.2 let's just add some more and see what happens 4 milliseconds absolutely not so I'm doing something wrong and it's so late Actually, let's go less than two. It's late. I'm tired. And I'm just experimenting. Aha! There we go. Much better. Okay, so uh, they're not as steep, so I need to make them a tiny bit steeper. So what I need to do is I need to increase the time a tiny little bit. So I have one i nine. Let's do uh, two ten. Two ten. Let's try again. Ah, uh, because of this one. So this is um, 
I don't know how it's called, it's gating, not gating, whatever. And the thing is, for some reason, uh, I don't know why, after every measurement, it's almost down to zero. So if I pull this, there we go, there we go. That's how it should be. Okay, so I have here, uh, let's actually make both of them uh, less. can I remove this one as well yes just to make them so I guess the thing is like it, it doesn't really matter where you put it as long as both of them the same for both measurements I think this is the gating um, so how um, long of a signal it takes so if I'm just gonna make them both the same length like that yeah so um, tiny bit more actually 2.2 probably was fine try again So you know what, I think, if I'm take the right mid, did it change? Because I forgot, I think I forgot to put, pull the gating. Yeah, it did change a bit, but not that much. Because over the crossover region, see, they do match like from, well, like uh, 120 down to... So here's the phase issue, I think because that's an extra phase wrap if I pull all of them back yeah they do kinda because 200 uh, 200 hertz is my crossover region and all three of them are going through this region is fine and then the green one which is right mid Something is wrong with it. So let me actually change the timing a tiny little bit. So from three two, let's go to three two five. And I need to change the channel. right and pull this back again yeah so here I have something happening but like the um, the impulse is matching almost perfect here in front and if I add the base mid base and the crossover region is fine so left mid base is fine right mid base is fine as well over the crossover region actually I could uh, shift them a little bit back let me check left mid base yeah very similar right mid base so these I could pull them a little bit back so I would need do I need to yeah what I would need is to remove a little bit of the time so 3.2 let's try again going flatter I think it's going flatter 
so we need to add actually not remove so three four yeah so see I'm just playing with it just playing Just playing and seeing what happens. Yes. So it, it, it went to the left a little bit. So I need a tiny bit more to the left. Uh, so we need to add some more. Let's add 3.5. Okay, let's try again. So uh, one note, like if you have um, JL Max or if you have, uh, what's that, Smart. You can do that live so you don't have to take every single time a measurement you can do that live you are adjusting the phase and you can see how the fish uh, phase shifts but since I don't have them and I'm using this I'm taking uh, a measurement every time I change stuff Probably there is a second a se a setting to leave this, but uh, which one I'm checking? The green one. Yeah, so it's not it's not getting any better, or is it? Uh, here at one something there's a uh, probably phase wrap as well let's just add more and see what happens three yeah too much three seven just see what happens see much better match now it's like from here like spot on if I pull it back like that see it matches perfectly there we go just like that good stuff okay so I'm happy with this yeah which is very nice here it starts to like uh, after three four hundred starts to deviate, but it's fine. I don't mind. I need. Uh, I'm aiming for the crossover region two hundred. So now uh, I have a right mid. Now I need to do the left. Uh, left mid. Okay. So it's gonna be this one red. So this is very similar. I just need to add a tiny bit more. Actually, it matches quite good, but I'm going to add a tiny bit more of time. Um, that's left mid. So, 2, 3. 2.3 milliseconds. Let's measure. a bit more two point four measure again okay let's pull it back yep I'm very happy with this so like here on the left side is something I don't know what's happening but I really don't care because like everything below 200 is mid base and sub so 
again if when you're blending the drivers the main thing is the crossover region because you're bl they are blending in the crossover region if i'm understanding this correctly okay so mid base is fine now let's have a look at the tweeters uh left tweeter enable so for for these i think i need to no i need to make them shorter because it's actually very difficult to see because there's all gibberish so i think for the tweeters uh somebody didn't mention this that uh, the phase is not that important what is important is the actual uh timing okay okay so when i bring them closer the gating Then, okay, let's remove because it should be similar. Are they similar? If I remove, if I put them very close, like that, I'm losing. So let's leave it at as close to two milliseconds. That will be both. And you can see they are here at the top end, like 2k, because 2k is a crossover region. They are following um, the one each other similar it's not perfect but they do follow similar so let's leave just the because the thing is it's very messy if you have all three okay so it's not that bad so the tweeters are here yeah so what i need to do because if if i add time it goes to the left i need to remove some time so it's going to go to the right so this is the left tweeter. First of all, I'm going to enable it. Left tweeter is channel E. Okay. Then I'm going to change from 2K to... Aha, that's why I don't have anything. So I don't have any data above 2K because I did measure only up 2K, but it's fine. Should have measured it like uh, the mid range up to like four or 5K. Okay, let's see, uh, left tweeter. Let's try to measure. Yeah, I forgot to change the time. So tweet, um, left tweet. What is it? This one. I need to remove. So let's remove 2.2. Let's measure again. looking at the crossover region which is this one and it doesn't look like it looks better let's go the other way around and see uh, 
Okay, so going this way, it makes it much worse. Let's actually have a look at the actual impulse response. Where does it go? Compared to the mids. Let me zoom in a bit. Just like that. Okay, so tweeter. They are kind of close. Because the thing is, like, look, I have um, the mid left is 2.4. And the thing is, the tweeter is very, very close to the mid. So it should be, it should be very similar. Three. Let's try this. Yeah, so this, to me, looks better, but here is, because the thing is like the mid uh, range, if I remove this, okay, let's have a look, mid range, where does the mid range start? So it started at zero, probably before zero. Tweeter starts here. And is it right? I don't think so. Like look the, the tweeter starts before zero. Which shouldn't be. So you should be Should be similar, very, very similar to the mid. Okay, and now it starts somewhere like close to zero. The bigger peak is here, so it starts here and Phase, if I'm just gonna move this one, here, if you see this, so this is the one phase, all three of them. The blue one is the tweeter, and here, and then they start to separate again. But over the crossover region, it's not that bad, actually. Let's add five more. change much but I think it went further so this is going to be a very very boring video for you guys Okay, so it is better. I think I might leave it like this. The left one. Let's have a look at the right tweeter. Let's change it in the DSP. So, 
yeah so like for example left and right tweets here you can see even on the not even on the face grab on the timing that there there is a difference like of if you see the blue peak is here which is uh, on the right side of the zero and this is on the left side of the zero so it's like point two it's like point two of a millisecond difference and that difference is probably because of the EQ so time uh, right this one uh, point two which side three four five let's try five three let's measure again So look, this is matching. Uh, just a tiny bit more, and the phase matches this as well here. So let's add a tiny, tiny bit more, like point, point two. So five, three, four, five. Let's see what that do. Match is better, and I don't know if it's gonna be like an audible difference, but eh, you know. So, like this one doesn't go down to 2k for some reason, I don't know. And this is the face doesn't really match, but like the timing is perfect. So, I don't know, should I leave it like this? I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna listen and see how it is and hope for the best if that is not gonna change the position uh, like the the center left center hard left hard left center if it's still gonna do the same like it used to do I will need to play probably with levels because I don't know if that is gonna make such a big difference like point point two or point one of a millisecond i don't know if that's gonna be make a big difference but because the main thing like the phase uh, between the mid base the sub and the mid say left so all of these let's pull them yeah so like uh, sub green mid base red I have here all fine and then uh, mid base red and mid blue here all fine as well so this should be fine and now I'm just gonna listen and see what we have okay I had a quick listen and did it help yes and no <laughs> yes because the sound stage uh it shifted the stage a tiny bit to the left so like um actually let me show you so like before the the center was like something like this and now the center center is like this so it shifted a tiny bit everything but with with that little thing, like um, it's, it was still the same. So everything came like left, blah blah blah, and then ting. So what I did actually, uh, I lowered this tweeter by half a dB, zero point five dB down, and then it fixed it. So it was actually not a phase, pro not a timing problem, but. Um, level problem half a db even because the thing is like on rta you don't really see it and like on this uh it hits the window and that one hits the window as well 
so it might be like the levels are a bit off just because you hear it a bit differently than the mic picks it up so lowering this tweet to half a db sorted out that problem now the ting comes right from there like it's supposed to be and center is shift a tiny bit left so like now i have hard left like left left middle is something like this in between the speakers now uh left center is there and right center is i don't want to say straight in front of me a tiny bit to the left but something like this and right so i think now the timing is fine so i'm gonna leave the timing as it is i'm really happy how everything centers now how everything images and for me at least it images very very nice I'm very happy with the cute work. Uh, I'm happy with the tonality and everything. Now I'll have to wait for my subwoofer because my sub amp is dead. So I'm just waiting for it to be fixed and I'm going to add the IB sub. And yeah, for now, this part I think is going to be the last one. Unless I'm just going to add the one, I'm going to add the subwoofer. I'm going to add a few minutes of um, EQ and uh, timing and everything. But. Yeah, thank you for watching this one because this one, I think it was a total mess from my end because I, I just wanted to show you how uh, sometimes messy it is when you're not experienced. But that's the beauty of it. it. The more you play with everything, the more experience you get, the more easy it gets. Like uh, somebody, like I did this in what, like 35, maybe 40 minutes. If you would have smart or tune or whatever, it would literally take you five minutes. But hey, where's the fun in that, yeah? <laughs> so again, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.